All right, we are live. What's up, everyone? Uh, it's Jeff with the Teach Better team. I've got Ray here with me as well. We got Mr. Hans Apple with us, and then we've got the the woman of the hour of the day of the week <laughs> here, times two, right? Yeah. Uh, Jennifer and Maya, who just today officially book is out. It's released. It's there. Uh, award-winning dog it's out jen how are you before I'm, I'm gonna we'll talk to everybody but like jen i gotta know right off the bat how does it feel right now like how you feeling right now like it's official yeah it's pretty exciting because i think um as a reading specialist like i love books and since i was a little kid i always wanted to write a children's book especially a picture book um yeah. so it's just kind of it's it's a little surreal because it's like a dream coming true you know that i actually have this book out and it's so cool that it's about my little baby maya so to be able to like put my two things together, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And I'm so excited that people actually want to read it, you know, yeah. and actually like want to purchase the book, which is even better because I'm good just having it myself, you know? So <laughs> it's pretty yeah, cool. like, really, we only need to print one copy. Yeah, of I know. I'm like, let me get a couple. We got, have Maya got to yeah. open it like everything's accomplished, right? Yeah, sure. yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> to me though, that's awesome because so it doesn't matter like whether it sells a billion copies or not, yeah. whatever, because it wasn't about that. It was about no. message you wanted to share. It was about you tackling a, a dream that you had right. and and combining, like you said, these two loves you have for, for your dog and dogs in general, the culture and, and this love of books. So like that's super cool. So but it congratulations, will, we got congratulations coming in in the comments right now too. It will sell <laughs> a billion copies. Just to confirm, I'm, I'm saying, even, I, but it will. I wasn't implying that it wouldn't. I was saying it doesn't <laughs> matter if it does or not. Go uh, team Ray. Go team yeah. Ray. Team Ray. <laughs> well, Hans, Hans and I have made very clear if anyone in the family could sell books, it would be Maya, not he or I. So I mean, <laughs> she, she's definitely it, the one that knows yeah, how to sell the most. It's gonna be Maya. Yeah, she's I, the star I, in the family. <laughs> but Jen, that's a pretty like great second place. Like I would be okay taking second under Maya. I mean, Maya is so wonderful. Right, right. I have to, I have to play take second place under Ray all the time. So like, you're in a lot right. better spot. Like, yeah, that's like, true. Like second to Maya. Like second. Is pretty <laughs> uh, so we got a lot of people chiming in here. Liv and uh, Lindsay's here. Kate, Amanda, uh, Maggie, loving it. Um, everyone's just so happy for you uh, and excited for you. It's really, really cool. Uh, let me ask Hans, as you know. The other person in the house. How are, how are you? Feel? How, how's it been to the watch? Other. How's it been to watch? Uh, you know, Jen and all this preparing for this, and then and it all coming in today when it's actually live and stuff. I know you've been, you've obviously been very involved in everything, but watching her sort of seeing this dream come true and stuff. How are, how are you feeling right now? It's amazing because a lot of people know Jen and I are high school sweethearts, so we've known each other forever. And uh, she's literally been talking about writing a children's books as long as I've known. So it's it's just so cool to see that, you know, actually come true today. Right. It's just weird. It's really cool. And, and what about Maya? I mean, I know Maya has been talking about it since she was a little puppy. <laughs> so the fact, you know. My, yeah. Maya's already a star. She, she's That's a true. big Instagram star. So <laughs> she's taking it in stride. You can see she's about to fall asleep right now. She's, she's like, like, no like, big deal. Yeah, I'm not really here. That's another thing I have to do right now. I'm so over this. Yeah. I, I to, to say though, she really is an Instagram star. And I know that some people follow her. But in my world, like, like I wake up in the morning and check Instagram. It is Maya's update that I get on her story, who I know is in this comment somewhere. Those are my two people I get updates on constantly. So they kind of are celebrities in my mind. I'm kind of geeking out. Right. <laughs> she she's quite entertaining. This morning she she had to run and tell all of her friends the bunny was out, the squirrel, the duck. Like she was super excited to let them know their book was out. So uh, the bunny like got really excited, and went and told all his family. Like she went hopping away, like she was excited. So yeah, it was really fun for her to be able to tell everyone. That really is one of the best parts about the book is that it's it is real life. You know what I mean? Come come to life. You know, it's like it's crazy. Uh, it's it, a lot of the the characters are people that we see all the time. You know, they're animals and things. So well, I and I feel like that's something I've commented on every yeah. time we've gone live. I'm Jen to celebrate you and Maya's book and this massive, massive, big book birthday that we have today on the launch day of the book is that it's not just a children's book that is just addressing great concepts, but it's also really an entire culture that you can buy into. You can follow the author on Instagram and 
like connect with all these other characters. And I know it sounds dorky, but truly I'm watching Maya's Instagram stories and I'm like, oh, I know that one. I know that one. <laughs> Close with her sister, Ginger. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like it's really a world that you're kind of choosing to surround yourself in. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really fun. And and I think um, I'm really excited for the series. Like this is the first book in five. And so I'm really excited for the series because as a teacher, like when I was a second grade teacher, I would have loved having these five books and there's going to be probably like 15 lesson plans that go with it. So you're going to have, I mean, you have your character education and all those things you can teach throughout the year. I mean, that is going to be so nice to be able to have all five of those for your school year. And like, you know, once a month doing one of these lessons and things like that and reading the books and the kids can follow the characters in the book as they go through different things. And so I think that part I'm really excited about is like the next step of like, this is a cool first book and I'm glad everybody's excited about Maya. And I think it's going to be really neat to see it through, through fruition, like all five of them going through, it'll be really cool. So, so, so oh, Jeff, go ahead, Ray. Jeff, I know you and I have gotten to know Jen and Hans really well. When they're talking about a whole series of children's book, how long do you think it'll take them? Like two more days to <laughs> publish the other two? Like they're so <laughs> My guess is, if, so there's how, there's how many more left? There's what, four more left? Four more, yeah. I'm guessing at least two of them are already written, if not all of them. <laughs> and the other four are at least, or the other ones are at least conceptualized in, in her head, if not already created in my, my opinion but i don't know we'll see we're gonna call next week like hey so the other <laughs> the next book is done we'll go, Did we just, uh, so so jen kind of re back, backing up a little bit for for anyone who's chiming in right now watching i'll uh, take a look at this that maybe doesn't know exactly what we're talking about can you share what the book is and what it's about and then if you could then just kind of roll right into then what the series will like how it all it's all going to round out together i think that'd be yeah great. so the the best way to describe award-winning dog is it's a compliment to hans's book so yeah. it's basically like the three questions that he asks um yeah he's holding up the book there <laughs> so the three questions character excellence and community so maya um basically is feeling like she's not award-winning and so she starts out the book as a comparison game. And so she's comparing to all of these other dogs that are award winning in her mind. And so she's trying to figure out where she fits in that world. And so she answers the questions of how she is award winning, like how those fit for her and what that looks like in her world. Um, and so it's kind of her like self discovery of how can I become, how can I have great character? How can I have, how can I serve? How can I have empathy? How can I have kindness? Like those kind of things she figures out along the way in the book. Um, and so this is the beginning, the foundation of like what is character excellence community. The other books will touch on um, different aspects within those. And they'll go into like mental health is gonna be in there. Um, poverty is gonna be in there. Like different things that, that students will struggle with. Um, and how does your character come through? And what does that look like for each individual? Um, and so that's kind of the series is helping teach those kind of tougher subjects um, mm -hmm. in a kind of fun way through dogs and animals and, and you know, getting to know them and understanding like what it means to have mental health like issues and how that affects you and things like that. So that's kind of the series where it's going. Love it. That's super cool. Uh, and, and like you said, it all connects to, it connects so well with Hans' book, which I feel like just came out. Like, how long has it actually been out? <laughs> I think it's been it out about a month or so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we were just doing it. And it's been too <laughs> I don't know. It hasn't been out very long. So, um, yeah, really, really cool. So, I know we did. There was, you were doing a giveaway, doing five books, right? That you're giving away. And I saw them. They look super awesome packaged and stuff because that's just how Jen rolls with that's everything. The best part. If anybody is ordering the book, I know you can get on Amazon and that's great, but you have to buy it off the website because <laughs> who doesn't want like a love package from Maya and Jen? Like, like, come on, it'd be wonderful. Yeah. Maya even signs them for you. So she'll do that for you. She has her, you know, her paw pad so she can sign it for you. <laughs> She's been practicing. She's signed a few already. We're mailing some out today. So she's been signing a few. <laughs> Very cool. So we wanna, um, you want to go through the, the winners right now? Can we yeah. talk about let's talk first? You posed questions out for people to, to share out on social media and do that. So can we talk about the question and then maybe some of the ones that you got through? And Yeah. So the question was, why do we need kindness in the world? 
And there were so many people that answered. I really appreciated all the answers that came because um, we do need a lot of kindness right now in the world. And people kind of pointed that out. So I really think it was a good topic. Um, but yeah, I picked five people. It's really hard to pick. So I tried to pick, it, it was the ones that kind of like stood out to me as something that I thought fit like with Teach Better and character and award winning yeah. culture kind of like together. Um, the first one was Nicole Kelly. And she yeah, said, you guys, you guys are really going to like this one. This is a Teach Better one. We need kindness because it helps us love better, understand better, and to be better. Oh, I that's like that. That's a good that's one. Good. Nice. And that's a bumper yeah. sticker right there. You got it yeah. better <laughs> at the end, and then you guys have like a new slogan. I love it. <laughs> love it. That's great. That nice right. Congratulations, Nicole. You got that one coming. That's awesome. And then, yeah. And then the next one is Maggie Gifford. Oh, Maggie, yes. yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, and hers said, kindness is standing up and fighting for each other. It's mm -hmm. having empathy and making sure everyone feels valued. Kindness is the only way we continue can continue to grow as a society. That one's pretty like good, it. too. Nice, Maggie. I really like that one. Um, okay, the next one is Judy Janicek. <laughs> Yeah, Judy. And she, yeah, Judy got it. Oh, there's Maggie. She got it. Um, <laughs> and she said, the world is a sad place right now between the pandemic and the social injustice. We need kindness even more now to show that everyone is important, no matter their race, religion, or ability. Now more than ever, we need to show we are all human. I really like that one. That one, that one was really good too. Yeah. Was These are so good. You can tell why it was so hard for me to pick. <laughs> yeah, These no, are no. all really good. I know. <laughs> That was, um, is that three? That's three, right? That's three. So we got yeah, two right. more. Okay. Um, number four, Aaron Molden. Ooh, Aaron, nice. Aaron said, kindness allows us to set aside our own feelings and work from a place of empathy. Being kind creates a safe place to learn and grow, even when growth can be painful. Which I like that, too, because okay. sometimes it's hard, especially in the times we're in, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then the last one, fifth person, Brianna Shaner. And she Yay. said, we need kindness to help counteract all the counteract all the negativity in our society. Ooh, she yes, like yeah. one sentence little zinger that there. So that true. was perfect. Yeah. yeah. So nice. congratulations to all the winners. I will Yay. DM you or something at your address so I can send those to you. So I'm super That's excited. Awesome. Maya Congrats. say congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm, I'm ready for, to go back to bed here. Uh, that's, yeah, that's really, really cool. So, so let's, I want to ask Ray's question to you, Jen. Do you have an idea? I'm sure you do. Do you know when the next book is supposed is going to be? Do you have a target? I think you have. I think we've talked about it before. <laughs> this is really She's crazy. laughing because it's probably crazy. But let's hear it. Let's go. Do we, we know have a tar Do we have a target, Hans? Do we want to say our target or not? I, I am sure you have a target in your you head. Can, you so. can be a little more broad if you want to be broader. If you don't want to, like, you don't oh, want to lock yourself in too much. I'm hoping to come out this school year. This school, okay. This school, yeah. okay. This school year. That's, so that's my that's, for that's, very that's very conservative. That's very conservative. My yeah. adult book, sort of which is actually like it. Was... my adult book, which is actually the second book to Hans's "Award Winning okay. Culture," that we're hoping to come out before the end of this year, like calendar okay. year. Gotcha. So hopefully that'll be out like end of November, December. That's kind of the plan. So you can kind of guess based on that, like when a children's book would come out. When the next one would come out. <laughs> okay, Jen, I think you need to tell everybody how they can get their dog or pet in the next book. Oh, yeah. So we, Ray, you inspired this. I cannot wait. <laughs> more than anything else. Ray, you, you now we got to raise attention. Yeah. So <laughs> Ray, Ray is like on, on edge right now. She knows exactly. So we're going to actually, I'm in the process of creating a Google form that you're going to fill out to enter your dog to see if they would like to be a guest in one of the books. And they would appear, they may not have a line, they may be like a background but okay. they they could be in the book so you're gonna have to have maybe a picture a video like you know i i need something here to decide like this is the one that's gonna be in the book so there's some opportunities at least in book two and probably book three that would definitely like need some guest stars so I, we're gonna put something out <laughs> i just want to clarify jen i'm sure i can find 
a picture somewhere of <laughs> two dogs. I'm just <laughs> right. I'm sure you can. Yes. Somewhere. Like, oh, it went off. Like, my is does that thing sitting on that chair count? That's our big right, tasty that's girl perfect. who's who's huge and thinks she's a little baby still. No, 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 no. no, no. This is right, be an alpha. You're not in this. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm what? <laughs> You're not in this. She wants Harvey and Alfred in the book. <laughs> she said, "It sounds like there's multiple areas. Tasty can just be in the back somewhere, like eating an ice cream cone or something." Yeah. <laughs> I love Amanda says, "Definitely entering my dog Lily." That's so cute. Oh, I love it. Wow. So, Jen, when, when can we expect that? Obviously, we'll, we'll make a big hoopla about that when that form is out. We want to get people in. So, yeah, probably we'll, we'll wait a while. Let let Maya have her, you know, day in the in the spotlight. Uh, yep. You know, let uh, let yeah. her be in there. <laughs> probably get towards you know, fame, then, right? yeah. I would say sometime in August to kind of don't you think, Hans? Yeah. yeah. Sometime in Absolutely. August for that to come out that we'll be looking for guest appearances in the book. I think now is is Garth, Maya going to actually be picking them or is that I you? She, I think so she, she is. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. it's her series, yeah. so I Seems mean like. yeah, she's. <laughs> so you might want to send a video with like if there's no chemistry between the dog right. and Maya, like, it's right. not going to work. It's going to no. cause problems right. on the set. It's not going to be a good thing. So, <laughs> so and Jen, she I'm assuming she does this movie coming is what I'm. <laughs> well, Maya Maya does take bribes. I don't, but I mean she's not above that. So <laughs> I mean I'm just saying. <laughs> That'll give me some time Excuse to get me when I go on Amazon and order a whole bunch. <laughs> I'm gonna get some professional she, she, she's, she's a vegetarian too, by the way. She's a vegetarian. So just just, just in case anyone wants to bribe her, she's a vegetarian. <laughs> I like it. Um it's fun. So I think regardless of who you end up picking or who gets chosen, who Maya picks to get in the book and stuff, I think all those submissions need to be shared out. The I pictures agree. and videos I think will be horrible. <laughs> I agree. Like, that'll be a, that'll be just a fun week of sharing things out or whatever right. it takes. Like uh, everyone put it in. So I'll have to have check. like I'll have to have a question on there that's like dressed like your dog or something, so we could have some like good pictures to like share out of people. You know, I think yes. I usually dress like my dogs. They're both like black coats, so I you usually typically do. You're right? Yeah, that's true. That's our true. City, yeah, our city as part of us. They had to cancel our Fourth of July parade. They did like a full week of like celebration stuff, and one of the things was submitting for a lookalike, a yeah, pet lookalike. Oh, yeah, and mm -hmm. they were great. Like oh, I'm sure they, they totally posted all the pictures in the winter and stuff. It was uh, a young girl who had the big curly hair and her dog. I mean, it was like you could just blend her into her dog. It's hilarious. <laughs> Wow. So that's what I'm picturing. I think that'd be great. So. I mean, yeah, I think it would be, be way cool. It's gonna be way cool. <laughs> yeah, like that's. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I. No offense, I might be more excited about that than I am for even the book at this point. <laughs> right, and that's fine. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. I, I very much like to be on the committee for selecting, even if my opinion isn't actually valid for anything. Right. I just, I can be in the room, like. Yeah. You can just like wipe, you know, whatever, push me on the side. Like I would like to be in the viewing room. Well. Just to be able to see all of the entries. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> Warman Dog out now. So you can get on Amazon, but where you should go is I got to go across the bottom of woodwindculture.com because that's where you get the signed version signed by Maya as well. Yeah. Put together, uh, I believe there's stickers and stuff as well. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Lots of stickers that come with it. Huge congrats to the five people that won the copies. Make sure you're Jen's probably gonna reach out to you, but make it easier. Like reach out to her first, give her your address, get that. What else you got, right? They also have a bundle, so you can get Han's yeah. book and get Maya's Ooh. book all together. And that seems like you'd get a good collection of stickers right there. I'm just saying. Yeah. Does. Hans is like Jennifer's own personal like Vanna White down there. Just yeah, like, I like absolutely. it. <laughs> um, does, I'll, I'll keep him. I like it. <laughs> Good. Thank you. He's a keeper, uh, if you get the bundle, does Maya sign both? No, no she. That's I'm a good a question. She does just sign hers. I. You can't really. It. It actually looks like a dog signed Hans's because you can't actually read his handwriting. So it kind of looks like somebody without an opposable thumb signed it. <laughs> Thank you. He knows. He knows. Like, right, kids, it looks the same when I sign something too. He signed like the kids really at took school. A turn for the worst here. He'll yeah. always like come show me the the note, and they'll be like, "Who is this?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's my husband. That's Mr. Apple." They're like, yeah, "Oh, I had no idea." I was like, "I know. I'm sorry." <laughs> Chicken scratch. Yeah. I was like, see, there's an A there. <laughs> and we all have areas that we need to grow in. It's right. That's right. Yeah. Area of growth. Absolutely. Bro. Yep. <laughs> uh, before, before Ray can start talking about all the areas I need to grow in. I was going to um, 
I was excited I was to go there. I thought there was a pump and I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Um, uh, super excited. Is, is, Ray, mm -hmm. Correct me if, I'm, if there's anything I'm missing that we need to tell anybody about, but make sure you go go get it off the site. You can go to Amazon. Yeah, it's great, but get the get the signed deal. Get the get the cool version of it, in my opinion. So super awesome. Um, what if you haven't. What about all the lessons that you have made oh, that yeah. go with the book? Yeah. So, yeah. Are those so on, in there or? No, if you go to the website, they're for free. They're just a download. Okay. Um, so if you go onto the website, there's actually three lesson plans. There's one for character, one for excellence, one for community. Nice. It's basically kindness, empathy, and service. Um, and so there's three lesson plans that go with it. And one of the lesson plans actually has a little worksheet that goes with it. And it has, um, I actually took some of the pictures directly from the book and they make kind of an inference about what Maya is doing um, in the book. And then they kind of write their own. Um, it's really super cute. So it was fun for me to write because I'm a middle school teacher and I was like, oh, second grade again. I was so excited. <laughs> so, But you can also use some of them. Caitlin and I were talking about how you use them in middle school too. But yeah, there's three lesson plans and then there's some activity sheets. So there's like just a picture from the book and then like a spot to write a paragraph. So you could write a paragraph like inference about the book and it's black and white so you can color it too. So you can have them color and then they could write and even parents could do this. Like you can print them off and have them for your kids. Like after you read the book, they could color a little picture and write a little story or something. Um, it's super cute. My cousin, his wife, she was reading the book this morning to um, her daughter who um, she was loving it. And she goes, oh, and she was answering all the questions as we went through, like it, Maya kind of answers the questions. So her little daughter was answering them too. And so she's going to love those little coloring sheets to be able to answer. Um, and then there's two, there's one more thing on there and I, yeah, I'm losing my mind what it is. I can't remember. Anyways, there's I, lesson plans, activity sheets, coloring sheets, that thing. I just love that this book has so much to it, Jen. I want to, I don't, I don't even think that we are able to highlight all the things that this isn't just a children's book that you should grab and use as a mentor text in your classroom or read it to your child at night. But there's so many moving pieces to really make this a purposeful movement to really reach all of our students. I love that you've done this. We're so excited for you. So thank you. Thank you. We're pretty excited. Yeah. Maya, Maya is pretty excited to share and she, she's available for virtual book talks or whatever, if you want. So I know a lot of people have expressed interest in their, their students meeting Maya because they're like, Oh, that would be so fun <laughs> to meet the real Maya and have her actually read the story to them. So <laughs> I love it. All right. Am I forgetting anything else? Cause I didn't think about that. I just, no. Yeah. Well, I, I think we've got. I want to make sure we're not keeping Jen too long because she's got a bunch of books to like pack it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, trying to be weird. Um, but I, I think I speak for everyone watching. Oh, oh here we go. See, go she ahead. she thought of something. They're hosting Mastery Chat tonight. Oh, yeah, Mastery oh, Chat. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Mastery Absolutely. Chat tonight. Which super. Uh, I'm excited about this one because I love the fact that you you guys were like, Let, we want to take this because we're trying to learn and grow. We want to have these conversations. And I love that our chat is always focused on that. It's not, hey, I'm an expert and I'm talking about it. It's I'm trying to learn. So here's a bunch of questions that I want to know the answers to. And the questions you guys have put together tonight, I think, just nail that. And I know there's at least one that brings Maya into, which is a nice little connection to the book launch. So <laughs> I, I like it. Uh, so excited about that. Uh, I'm not remembering exactly how you phrased the the topic for tonight. Can you tell me that? I think it's pursuing an anti-racist classroom with kindness, service, and empathy. Yes, that's what it is. Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Fun. Yes. It's well, and, and Maya's book kind of fits because she's named after Maya Angelou, who, you know, if Maya Angelou was alive today, she would be very much about educating people about anti-racism and trying mm -hmm. to help people, you know, through that. So I, I think it's fitting that her book is part of this because, you know, she's named after an amazing woman. That did amazing things for our country so i think i think that fits together really well agreed so that's tonight eight o'clock eastern time uh and then uh, i believe both of you are going to be live and then with afterwards with chad ostrowski so recapping the uh the chat as well on uh, everything on social so excited about that ray what else am i forgetting because i feel like i can't i'm trying to wrap up but i guess maybe i shouldn't we'll just stay on until no. we everything Jeff, you really did well at at least trying to facilitate this. Sorry, <laughs> but Jen and Han, we're just so proud of all the work that you guys continue to do to support people in this area. And oh my goodness, this children's book finally being out. It seems like it's just we've been talking about it forever. So I'm so excited. I know we've seen some comments. People are just so excited to get theirs in their mailbox. So coming to you soon, friends. Yay. Congratulations, Jennifer. It's awesome. Congratulations, Maya. 
super super cool <laughs> and good job being there too Hans. <laughs> thank you <laughs> All right, uh, Andrew said she's already getting in there. Okay, with that, I, it sounds like I got everything in the way when we all need a little bit. So appreciate all you. We'll see you over at Master Chat, 8 o'clock Eastern, and, you know, afterwards with these two in, in chat. So bye, Maya. <laughs>